Broom corn millet has become a huge problem to maize and sweet corn growers. It can destroy the cones on harvesters and reduces the quality of the crop itself. Because there's no post-emergent herbicide available for this weed, early identification is key to combating the problem. The issue is that this weed that we're looking at here, this grass weed, having been introduced fairly recently, it's, it's causing us some grave concerns with the sweet corn crop that we have locally, or well, not only locally but nationally as well. There's three different factors which concern us as a processor. The first of them would be that the harvester has great difficulty harvesting through this, this stuff. Um, we, we get the crop to, to a stage where we need to harvest. This stuff comes up across the top of it um, and then in the crop itself you end up with an inferior, inferior corn. If we harvest through it, we risk mechanical damage with the harvester. If we harvest the crop, we end up with a situation where the grower suffers due to the fact that we're harvesting inferior corn. You've got smaller cobs, you've got cobs with stress in them, and that just doesn't do anything for our processing situation. As an industry, to try and sort this problem, we're looking at the likes of trying to reduce the spread of it for a starter. That's, that's a big one. And then we're at the, the stage where we're trying to get on top of it to eliminate it by chemical means, by good farming practices, cultivation situations where we can be on top of it, have the seed germinated at a reasonable time where we know we can deal to it, be more aware of what the grass looks like so that we know what we're dealing with, because grass weeds at an early stage often look very, very similar. Uh, Hort New Zealand uh, are spending some serious money at the moment, which industry is funding as well as government money, to try and get on top of the situation, to know what we can do better to eliminate the problem, because at the moment it's just rampant. First noticed in the northern area in Pukekohe, and it's now in Gisborne, Hawke's Bay, and, um, and I think well, Marlborough, um, so it's definitely into the South Island as well. So it, it's just getting worse and spreading. Well, with broom corn millet, once it gets into a really heavy state, at the moment, this is, if it was that bad, we'd probably get away with it. But once it gets really tall and, say, matches the height of the sweet corn, um, what can actually happen, it'll actually lock over the nose cones, and if it locks over that bad, it can actually pull the nose cone down because, because of the pivot point. It'll actually pull the nose cone down and under and wreck the nose cone. And then when it comes to feeding it into what's known as the knife rolls, um, in here, they have a lot of trouble handling it because it's designed to pull down a very thick stalk, not a very fine stalk. And so, as we hear it in the cab, it's uh, commonly known, you just hear the knives howling just from the, trying to pull all this extra growth through down through the knives. As it tries to pull the plant down, it's got to handle all this extra stress and loads the harvester up. Our biggest problems with it are the fact that the amount of how vigorous and how many seeds it can produce. One plant I pulled up one day, 200 and just one head like that, had 250 seeds on it, and it had five heads. So uh, with five heads on there, there's 1,250 seeds of potential five years problems, at least that we know of. What makes us such an awkward one to kill is the fact that we haven't got any registered chemicals for it. Uh, we've got chemicals, uh, the chemical nicosulfuron is used in maize, but we haven't got it registered for sweet corn. Well, as you can see here, the, um, we've got a lot of uh, broom corn millet amongst a few other bits and pieces. In this area here, although it's a maize crop, uh, we can see how rampant that the uh, grass can get. Um, this area here, the sprayer was turned off when it was sprayed. Um, behind me you can probably see a cleaner shot of where it was and uh, as it is there's nothing we can do with it. The, um, it's just going to be too hard to harvest the harvester or just basically lift over this because it just won't get through it and achieve any, it's not going to achieve anything anyway because there's no cobs on anything worth having. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.